Hello everybody, this is Nosef C and this will be the official review of the Audio Pro Flashlight. I've done a first impression video. This will be uh, pretty much uh, very similar to the thoughts I have because it is an amazing flashlight and after one and a half months of testing uh, it hasn't disappointed me at all. Exactly what I said in the first video, it's pretty much the same. For those who have already seen it, you can switch off straight away and go buy the flashlight. For those who haven't, this will be a little bit more detailed review about this amazing product. Uh, about two months ago, one and a half month ago, uh, Ode Pro contacted me and asked me to uh, do a testing to their flashlight and they can offer it uh, as a free product for my testing. They didn't pay me to do the review, they didn't ask me to do a positive review, they didn't ask anything. The only thing they said, please test our product and put it in a video. It came in this plain looking box, just writes made in China and writes the, uh, the specific flashlight. And it was very well protected, it had foam up and down as you can see. And it also had some bubble wrap around the flashlight and around the individual parts uh, it has a recharger for the two batteries you can use the charger uh, to charge both of them or one by one you will see the red light while it's still charging and it will go green when it's fully charged it usually takes about three three hours and a few minutes to fully charge the battery it has two batteries they are 3000 milliampere so they give you plenty of time if you use it in the highest setting and it also gives you some spare o-rings because the flashlight have o-rings inside uh, to keep it watertight when it's raining or if it's in a very low depth for some time and it also has a lanyard which you can pass from these two slots you can see in the back you can just loop it and hold it so you will not lose your flashlight you can also see in the box there is a QR code which you can scan it and you go straight for the manual from the specs I can see I haven't measured myself the dimensions of the head it says it's 1.9 inches in width uh, the body here it's 1 inch and the overall length it's uh, 6.9 inches uh, it has five modes which is the low mode which is only 40 lumens the middle mode which is 250 lumens the high mode which is 1000 lumens as you can see here the strobe mode which is 900 lumens in the SOS mode which is again a thousand lumens from what you can see here the threads are very very tight uh, the whole flashlight is constructed from 6061T aluminum which is the highest quality aluminum which is out there uh, here you can see the threads, you can see how nice and tight the threads are. You can see the thickness of the aluminum. Very high quality. It's all hard anodized type 3, which is a military type of anodization. They anodize a very high quality ARs out there and it's very high wear resistant and scratch resistant. The airsoft gun you can see in the back has a Cerakote finish which Cerakote is very durable and you can see still wear marks and everything. Uh, the type 3 hard anodization is even harder. Here you can see the reflector inside is pretty big and this is what gives you a very nice reflection it has a very nice tight pattern in the middle and a nice surrounding light in the back uh, this flashlight is very high quality you've seen the threads you've seen the o-ring you can also see there's a second o-ring here 
which also have a replacement inside as I show you so if it wears out you just replace it uh, the shades it can last inside the water for about uh, 30 minutes submerged in water in the depth of six and a half feet uh, it's mostly uh, it's mostly watertight from rain and splashing around I wouldn't go diving with this because obviously it's not a diving flashlight but in a tactical situation uh, you can definitely use it along with a real firearm if you are allowed to or in my case I, I mount it with this adapter here on my airsoft gun and I use it uh, for training, target shooting and also in uh, skirmishes. As I said before the type 3 anodization is very well resistant you can see I've hit it in a few times in some corners and the only thing you can see is just this, this small discoloration here which is nothing I'll be using this flashlight off and on for all this time, one and a half month, and still you can, if you take it and hold it in your hand, you will not believe it's actually used. It looks brand new, like it came right out of the box. You can check the video I've done with the first impression, and you can see it's pretty much an unboxing. I never used a flashlight before that. Um, you can see here these nice grooves which if you use it as a police officer uh, or if you use it in a defensive scenario you usually hold your uh, hand in reverse and even if you need to hit it, anything uh, break a glass or uh, use it as a defensive tool because it has these nice uh, spikes here they're not very aggressive but they will do the job to, fo to focus the energy of the heat in one place and believe me it's gonna hurt of course check your local lows and you can see here the bottom it's it's rubberized plastic and you can cycle through the modes as you can see here when it's closed to find the mode you like Okay, let's say I want the SOS. I circle through the modes, I find the strobe, I find the SOS and then I click it on and I have the SOS on. This is one way to circle through the modes but the flashlight needs to be turned off uh, to circle just by pushing without completely pushing it. Otherwise, you just turn it on and then you continue clicking around to change the modes until you find the one you like. If you leave it for a few seconds on in this mode, then this mode is like saved or so. So when you turn it off and turn it on, it continues in the same mode. I went for hiking, I used it, it was very helpful, very bright, uh, held for a long time. Uh, I believe the highest mode uh, lasts around 80 minutes and the middle mode uh, around 3 hours and once you go uh, to the lowest mode I believe it's uh, more than 10 hours don't remember exactly I would like to make a small comparison with this flashlight as you can see this is a cheaper flashlight I also compare them in my uh, other video I made as a first impression video you can see there is no match to it it's still daytime and if I focus it completely still the focus beam is not even close to the other one even if I put it in a, in a middle mode you still you can still see that the Ode Pro is way stronger flashlight this one has a adjustable reflector which has a wide beam when you want to go close when you're going to go far has the focus beam this is not practical it says police on it's just a cheap 
Chinese flashlight, nothing to do with the police. When you use a flashlight for a serious situation, you don't need to fuddle around with this thing. Uh, when you use it for hunting, for whatever, you don't need to fuddle around with this thing. If you use it just to go around your house or in a car, then I understand the purpose of it, but nothing more than that. Also, I would like to compare the finishes we have another example also here you can see these two have very similar finishes this one it's you can see the finish this is about a year of pocket use everyday carry I've been carrying it almost for a whole year and you can see how much uh, it's uh, it's been through and how the paint wore actually is not paint is anodization uh, this has similar anodization to this one but you can see the Audi Pro which has the type 3 military anodization uh, it looks more matte and believe me way higher quality I don't know if you can capture this in camera the checkering between the two is just superb I'm talking for the Audi Pro one look at the checkering it's second to none you really do get your money uh, your money's worth when you buy the Audipro flashlight you can see the reflector there's nothing to compare believe me there is nothing to compare the Audipro flashlight I believe it might be the best flashlight out there at its price point I'm really amazed by it. For those who are going to ask, this is the Crytek Trident Mark II, the SPR, the longest model, uh, airsoft gun, and I mounted I mount this flashlight uh, on this gun because it's not allowed in Greece to mount flashlights, laser, uh, lasers, and etc on uh, real firearms it's a stupid low but we're not gonna discuss politics today that's why I mounted on uh, airsoft gun and I had some night shooting that I will show you just take a, a closer look on the finish the check ring and the whole construction of the flashlight I love these millings here they uh, reduce the weight and they also allow you to have a very nice firm grip because the fat of your hand goes inside and it's not slipping it's not slipping out for any reason See here it's graved, probably laser, yeah, it's laser graved and also has these three divots. So usually when you have a, when you have it mounted, you can see here it has a nice triangle which this goes inside so it will not move around. Of course this is an aftermarket uh, from a different company mount but you can mount it in many places because this has a wide one inch uh, body and compared to the other one I couldn't mount this one with this mount on the airsoft gun but uh, this one just worked just fine with this flashlight I believe you can pretty much do whatever you like to do you can put it on high mode find your path uh, illuminate everything you can put in middle mode have three hours of work time uh, it's pretty much very close to the high mode even though that is way less luminous you're still uh, able to see pretty much everything you can put it in low mode with 80, 80 lumens so if you are out hunting you don't spook the animals to find your path um, you can use the strobe mode when you have it mounted on a gun or an airsoft gun or wherever you like to uh, blind out the attacker and 
you can also put it in SOS and get out of a survival situation. I've tested it out, it's very reliable. Uh, I've hit it a couple of times, I dropped it a couple of times. The only thing you can see is just this one I showed you before. Uh, believe me, I have nothing bad to say about this flashlight. The only thing that might be a little different than what you've used to is that you change through the modes when it's closed just by pushing it and you just uh, click it all the way when you find the mode you like or you just circle it by clicking around uh, most of the flashlights usually they turn on and just by clicking them a little bit without going all the way they change mode this one doesn't do that it has a little different way of uh, working but once you get used to that I, I cannot find anything bad to say about it it's an awesome flashlight I will have some uh, footage now from night time uh, I don't want to repeat myself because it's pretty much the same as the first impressions video I've done. Uh, anyway, just enjoy. Okay, in a previous video I've tried to show you the difference between the Audi Pro flashlight and similar cheaper flashlights, uh, which you can really see the difference and the superiority of the Audi Pro. Right, and right now we are trying to make it a little bit more sophisticated test. We are trying to identify targets, you can see one paper target there, one there, and one farther in the back, I don't know if you can even see that. Anyway, this is the highest setting on the cheaper flashlight, not the Odo Pro, and this is the very tight pattern which can go far away, so we can identify the farther target, as you can see there. Try to zoom in. You can see the target, which is farther back. You can see, in order to identify the target farther in the back, the pattern needs to be very tight, which really uh, constrains your vision. If we try to open it up, you can see the target in the back is just barely visible. You can see the targets closer up and once we open it up completely you can only see the closest target the mid target is hard to see and the one in the back is almost invisible when you're in a serious situation you don't want to funnel around with this bullshit try to identify targets or try to find the way back home you need something like that you can see the other pro you don't funnel around doing stupid stuff to focus the beam or unfocus the beam it just has a strong beam in the center you can identify farther away targets you can see and it also has the surrounding illumination so you can see anything you blind your target or you find your way back home you make it bright as a day and you do exactly what flashlight is meant to do Just look at the difference. The one on the right is the cheaper one. It's on the wide setting now. You can see up close. The other pro on the left just dominates it. When you go farther away, you need to focus the beam on the cheaper one. Still, the other pro dominates it completely. When you go farther away and you have the complete focused beam, you can see the one on the right is the cheaper one. The center one is the other pro. The other pro completely dominates the other one i do not like to compare different stuff but believe me the audio pro has something that works and the money you pay for it is just amazing value you can identify the farther target on the on the farther back the mid target the close target you have the focus beam and you also have the surrounded light to find everything the strobe you have the sos you have the low mode, so you can find your keys all the way back home. You also have the high mode and the ultra high mode, which is insane. It's clear as a day. When I focus the beam, 
can see you can see things farther away far farther away in the distance but nothing up close then we open the Audio Pro <laughs> it's just ridiculous you cannot even compare the two one the left is Audio Pro the one the right is the cheaper flashlight which is close to the same lumens I would say it's not even close you cannot even see the one the right only if I focus in and still is not strong so enough. far away with the Audio Pro and up close everything it's bright as a day if you like this video please hit the like button and if you want to support me and this channel please go and buy things from Audio Pro I do not get any money out of it just support them because they make a really really awesome product and they chose this channel to send their product to so I can get the word out there uh, thanks for watching thank you Audio Pro for giving me this opportunity I would really love to try more of your products in the future uh, this product you've sent me it's top notch and I really really appreciate they are good professionals please support them and if you like to support me just hit a like on the video and subscribe to the channel this is NOSFC I'll see you in the next video bye bye